Well, the Institution of Engineers of Kenya, IEK, now wants government and national construction authority to put stringent measures in the construction industry to ensure quality is adhered to in the sector. Speaking after visiting an eight-story building that collapsed in Tasia Embakasi Monday in the evening, IEK Vice President Nancy Mudoni regretted that a number of buildings erected in the country do not meet the required standards and are therefore an occupational hazard to construction workers and also a risk to would-be users. This comes as the Red Cross team continues with the rescue mission in Tasia. It is feared that a number of people have been trapped inside the collapsed building. However, no casualties have been reported so far. Uh, we need to enhance collaboration from uh, ourselves. We are a member's body. Uh, we have got members who are uh, professionals, who are trained, who we train and we keep on training and we emphasize on training so that they can be competent in what they do. And then we have got the regulator, the Engineers Board of Kenya, who also makes sure that only those who are competent are put on the register. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, we have got the National Construction Authority, who also makes sure that only competent contractors mm -hmm. are given the right to uh, to undertake this kind of a, a, a project. And then we have got the county government who approved the drawing. So you can see it's a collaboration between all these agencies. Yeah.